The following programming brought to you by My Cedarburg Online, a virtual hub for living in Cedarburg, Wisconsin. This is Burger Bites, a mini news magazine focused on Cedarburg, Wisconsin. January baseball in Cedarburg? There is now, as the town of Cedarburg welcomed Bigler Sports into a portion of a Highway 60 warehouse owned by Gary John. Over 8,000 square feet, there will be skill development and fitness for a growing number of youth players seeking an edge on the diamond. There's no question that the interest has grown exponentially over the last five to ten years, and I think it's getting to the point where if you don't do something like this, you're going to get passed by, and that's why I think you're seeing more and more kids uh, having to or wanting to, to jump in and get involved uh, past just the season. The main level provides enough space for pitching and fielding work, along with hitting in a pair of retractable cages that can be pulled back to provide more space. An upper mezzanine will be used for strength and conditioning. You can do football in here, you can do soccer, you can do golf, baseball, basketball, softball. Uh, I, I see a lot of ways that the facility can benefit uh, many different sports in the area and benefit kids. For more information and opportunities at the facility, visit BiglerSports.com. A little imagination was required of patrons receiving a sneak peek into the new Cedarburg Library building. Signs, along with a pretend fireplace, were about all that distinguished the steel stud framed open spaces from a school or office building. That didn't temper the excitement though, as residents finally got a look inside the two-story structure that now towers over the old library next door on Hanover Avenue. The last time I saw it, everything was like totally open. There weren't any walls or frames up or anything. So you really can see it start coming together right now and it's really exciting. Among the lower level features are an expansive town square that will have a real fireplace, plus a community room and larger children's area. Upstairs you'll find study rooms, the reference area and an adult services collection framed by sweeping views of the city through large picture windows. drywall work was to begin the week after this sneak peek and another peek will be offered the Saturday of Winterfest in February. But before that citizens were invited to sign the sheetrock or installation as a permanent tribute to their new library, an eagerly anticipated addition to the Cedarburg landscape. I have a four-year-old daughter and we patronize the library as much as we can so I, I cannot wait until she gets to check out her first book. Cedarburg High School is thin on boys' basketball tradition. The Bulldogs have been to state one time since 1940 and have only one conference title in recent memory. But now the Bulldogs are led by the personification of tradition in Wisconsin high school basketball. Tom Diener captured five state titles at Milwaukee Vincent and was 124 at Milwaukee Hamilton before coming to Cedarburg this summer. His first team is relying heavily on freshmen and sophomores and is taking its lumps. The Bulldogs started 3-7, with big losses against powerful Germantown and Homestead. But that's okay, at least for now. I'm not really uh, wrapped up in how many games we're going to win. We're not going to win the Super Bowl this year. We're not going to win the conference championship. So it's really about um, teaching the game, getting kids to play the right way, um, and, and winning battles. In every basketball game, there's hundreds of battles, individual battles, team battles. We want to try and win as many of those as possible. 6'7", Brett Weber is the only senior. Four freshmen are in varsity call-ups, three of whom, Jordan Johnson, Jared Short, and Clayton Van Tassel, started against Homestead. It's not easy for them to, you know, to play on the varsity team as freshmen, so we're uh, supporting them in every way that we can. And we do have some older kids on the team, like I said, that have taken them under their wing, and uh, that helps a lot. These young Bulldogs may get a bit bloodied this season, but Diener can only hope that experience leads them to bite back in years to come. <laughs> Sunday afternoons in the CHS Vintage Gym, the Cedar Creek Winter Guard sharpens its routine in preparation for hosting a major competition in February. The team includes not only Cedarbrook High School girls, but two from Webster and a sprinkling of other girls from the area, hence the name. Now that we have been around for a couple of years and we've uh continued to improve and travel the Midwest, we decided our fifth anniversary would be a good time to change our name, new attitude, new group. Um, it seems to be working pretty well. The 2014 Cedarburg Winter Guard and Percussion Invitational is February 1st at the CHS Fieldhouse. It's the sixth year for the event 
and Cedar Creek Winter Guard hopes to drum up a nice crowd. It's the only competition in Wisconsin, and we have guards and drum lines coming from Milwaukee, coming from Indiana and Illinois and all over the place to just come compete here, and we do have some groups that spend the night. The Invitational begins at 5 p.m., and tickets are $7 for adults and students. The 2014 Jam 4 Charity Concert entertained a packed house at the Cedarburg Performing Arts Center, showcasing the top musical talent from the high school. Benefiting this year was the Cedarburg Cultural Center. Here is just a sampling of those performances. this month's Burger Bites, we take you along for a ride down some of Cedarburg's best sledding hills. Hang on! <laughs> 